I don't do this very often um, anymore at all where I go after a specific individual in the comments. I'm, I'm making an exception for David uh, because he is comparing the explicitly racist, misogynistic, bigoted, homophobic, transphobic campaign of Donald Trump and J.D. Vance somehow to the Black Lives Matter protests where, you know, Democrats, people on the left burnt down entire cities, whatever. I mean, that was four years ago. Every point that you're making has been debunked so hard and so often, but um, we know that that, uh, that gets no traction with you guys. Um, the reason that I'm highlighting David's comment is because I went to his page and I looked at some of the things that are on his page, some of his videos. Uh, and he has multiple TikToks photoshopped depicting Kamala Harris emerging from a toilet full of shit and brown water. And I'm just doing that because Donald Trump is not the problem. People like David are the problem. People like David are the problem. Donald Trump just understands people like David enough to know that he can take advantage of them. Uh, he can use anger, fear, racism, bigotry, misogyny, homophobia, transphobia, ableism uh, to manipulate people like David so that they will give him his money. Uh, so that they will vote for him and put him back in power. Uh, Trump is not the problem. He's just taking advantage of the people who are the problem. And the people who are the problem are people like David. Um, and people like David will still be here after Election Day. People like David might be responsible for re-electing uh, Donald Trump in three and a half weeks, re-electing Donald Trump to a second term as president of the United States. So, but you know, he's got videos on his page and that username is unique enough that even if he, you know, punks out like they always do and deletes his comment, I'm sure you guys will still be able to go find his page. Have a great night, David. You racist.